Hi, this is Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Agony from Marvel, also in Fortnite at the moment. So let's get in there and go to the top. Let's do, um, there's a like really cool head of hair on Agony. So I'm just going to pop a little dot at the top, sort of up here. And what I'm going to do is kind of just do a few sort of like uh, streaks upward. So kind of going sort of up, sort of this way, sort of like loads of like strands of like hair sort of coming out from the center there, all around like that, okay? Right, lots of little like lines coming up. And then what we can do is just sort of just draw little wibbly wavy lines around that. Kind of got that cool hair going on there in the center. Then let's pop the face in. So probably gonna come down to about sort of this area. Just gonna come down sort of quite wide from this edge here and down, so down like that. And then I'm gonna do the other side as well. So the same sort of thing. Come out from the top and bring it down to the edge there. Okay, cool, okay. Now I've got that in. Let's have a look, let's just draw a neck area. I'm gonna have the neck sort of coming down this way a little bit, so two little like long, not long lines, two little lines like that, just coming down sort of this way. Now I've got those, I can work out the shoulder area. So I've got shoulders coming out here, hands down here, and the body sort of stands in the center there. So I'm gonna come out probably sort of this way for the shoulder area on the left. So just sort of bring my pen down a bit and then just pop it out for a shoulder curve there. This side, I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. We're gonna bring the pen down, sort of around this way. So sort of just bring the pen sort of down like that and then just popping the shoulder out around there, okay? Just a little curve like that. Okay, now I've got that and I'm gonna work out sort of the, the midsection, the, the upper body. So I'm kind of gonna go from, let's say, probably about, about that point and probably about this point here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw the body parts or taper it inwards this way. So I'm going to come, uh, the skin sort of comes out here, so I'm going to bring it out, sort of come inwards this way, sort of bring it, sort of tapering in to the center there. This side, sort of like the upper body area, will sort of, there's a bit more of the shoulder being shown, I suppose. So I'm just going to bring my pen in a bit more, sort of curve in like that, and then bring it out a bit like that. Okay, right, the hips are about here. Uh, so the legs are gonna come down this way. So center of the legs, let's work that out. It's probably going to be, so hips there, it's probably gonna be about here, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is just draw this leg on this side. I'm gonna draw down to like the knee area. So I'm gonna continue the curve of the hip and then down this way, like that, the inner part, so we'll come down this way, down to the knee there. On this side, the legs sort of coming around this way. So we've got that central bit in there. The leg this side sort of comes out, sort of behind this leg here. So I'm kind of just gonna curve around, sort of bring my pen down to about there. Then in here, I'm kind of gonna just bring my pen through that way. Okay. So the knee areas, sort of got the knee there, just a couple of little lines we're gonna pop in just to sort of denote the knees. Then let's do this leg here. I think it's gonna come down sort of the shin area, the lower part this way. So just bring your pen in there, curve it out and downwards there. This side, I'm just gonna draw the shin area. So I'm gonna go a little bit more straighter, sort of this way, like that. And then, on this side, let's have a look. I just want to kind of come in here and then I'm going to curve the pen in, bring it down that way. And then I'm going to bring the shin in, sort of taper down to the center area there. Okay. Feet kind of coming this way. So we kind of got to the heel here. Let's just kick it out a little bit there. Bring my pen around here, sort of bring it out, sort of like, almost like little claws on the end here. So I'm just going to kind of just go a bit spiky at the end there. One, two, three, four, and then five. And then just bring my pen down from the top of the foot to the edge there. This side, just kick it out again there. Just gonna bring my pen down 
along like that. And then what I'm going to do, sort of the top of the foot sort of comes down this way, down here, and then the same sort of thing, sort of spike it out a bit at the edges there. Okay, now I've got that in. Let's work out um, Agony's um, arms. So we've got one coming out this way. We've already got the shoulder in here, so let's just draw a bit of shoulder muscle there. And then we kind of come out a little bit for the tricep and down. And then biceps here, so I'm just going to draw a little sort of curve here, sort of fairly sort of slender arms. Bring it in a bit where the sort of the crease of the forearm is probably about there. Elbow is going to be about here. And then we're just going to bring it out and in. And this side up here, we're just going to bring out the pen and taper it in. That takes us to the wrist. This area, kind of going to bring my pen in a bit. So bring my pen in down here. Got the bicep sort of this point here. So just an idea of a bicep there. Couple of lines in for the crease of the arm. Then I'm going to bring my pen down sort of behind the torso. The rest of the forearm, bring it out and inwards there. Right, now I've got those. I'm going to draw like these sort of clawed hands. So they're kind of like stretching out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my pen up on this side, sort of draw to a point there for the thumb. Then it kind of stretches out. So just draw a line there. Then I'm just going to curve it around for another claw and bring it up for the wrist there. And the other uh, claws and fingers, I'm going to go one, two, three inside there, just behind that claw area there. This side, the hand sort of comes out more this way. So first of all, just going to draw myself, um, I'll come out here with the wrist and the, it's kind of like coming in like this. So I think just going to sort of bring out a little claw there. And then I'm going to come out and go one, two, three, four, like that, and then bring it back around. So it kind of, so it comes out to a point in there for the, for the hands there. Okay, cool. Now I've got that. I'm going to go up here. Just going to draw, it's kind of like the hair sort of kicks back, but I'm quite keen to sort of put the rest of the hair in. So it kind of comes around this way. So I'm going to bring my pen around here. So, so the hair will go behind the head and then kind of kick out a little bit around to there. And what I'm going to do is just continue to draw lines, a bit like the top of the head. Just going to draw lines coming out and around. So this may go behind there. Sort of like a big bunch of sort of wavy hair on agony. Just go to the shoulder, just go behind there. So give an idea that it's sort of coming behind that area there. There we go. That's it. Right. That's the general outline done. Um, it's a very textured kind of skin with lots of like purples and pinks. So one of the biggest things we need to do now are the teeth and the eyes. So let's go put that sort of manic grin in first of all. So there's almost like from, I guess, from the top here and the top here, I'm just going to pop a couple of little dots and I'm going to come and curve right down and up. So we'll give it, give the skin like a manic look on the head. This then they come sort of downwards towards the chin again. I'm going to draw the lower half like that and then we're going to pop in lots of little um sort of little teeth so i'm going to like pop lots of little sort of incisor v's in the teeth area like that and i'm just going to draw upwards as well sort of a hint of that going on too yeah that's it exactly right let's pop the eyes in so the eyes are sort of going up this way diagonally so i'm going to pop a dot probably about here and one just about there, sort of just off sort of center. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my pen up in and flick up to the edge. Do the same here, bring it up around, flick up. And then we can just draw a curve around either side like that around each one. Just going to sort of draw a little hint of like etching around that. And I think really the rest of it is going to be sort of quite textured up. So what I'm going to do, just going to kind of just draw around some of these edges, just make sure I'm happy with sort of how this is drawn up. 
sort of give it an extra bit of pop around those edges. Just sort of follow the line, just make sure kind of happy. Maybe these feet can pop out a little bit more there. Come up or accentuate the knee maybe a little bit. Maybe there, show a bit more of the knee. Bring it up this way. And I think this little shoulder area sort of pops out a bit. There we go. Okay, last thing, I think I want to just put, put some um, sort of shading in. So I think the top here, I'm just going to sort of put some little hatching around the neck, sort of just around the head, just a little bit sort of darker. Maybe just sort of draw in a few little lines there, sort of darker on this side. Maybe it's a little bit darker there. Then as we come into here, I think I'm going to pop some little hatching on this side. Just continue around this area here. And then this hand area, a bit there, and in the palm, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of just block in. Block in there. Just some little bits of, sort of darker area. Maybe I'll just pop some hatching on the other side of that as well. Just to give it a good sort of idea of Sort of, sort of inking and shading around here. This side I'm going to just come around here and the biceps just pop a little bit of hatching in there. I think I might just go, let's just fill those fingers in at the back there. There's a shaded area sort of in around this way. And then we'll come around here, maybe just shade up the torso area just a bit in the leg area here, I'm going to just block in around there and we can just pop a few little lines in for hatching. Same goes at the back here, I think there's quite a bit of this is sort of shaded up and then we can pop lines in there to just give it a good hatch effect. Some bits in here as well, so just sort of maybe just a little hint there around there, it all comes up that way. Uh, and then sort of the feet area, I think down here as well. Maybe just a little bit on this, it's there. Okay, cool, I think that's enough there. That's looking pretty good, right? Uh, I think we're ready now to start blocking in some color. And this one's slightly different. So I'm gonna block it in with some um, lighter colors and sort of build the the, um, the textured skin up. There's a very kind of pinky purple skin. So the hair's really pink. So I'm going to just block in a little bit of light here. I'm going to put a circle in there and just color around it. Same goes for the hair. I think I'm going to just leave a little, little sort of circular chip there. I'm going to just block in that pink. So I've got a nice sort of base. And then really there's a little bit of light here. I'm gonna just pop a couple of circles there. Just a bit on the up here. Maybe just down from this area here and on the forearm. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna just roughly block in with this pink, very light pink. Um, just sort of block in a nice sort of base color. And we can build on this with all those sort of purples and um, sort of more vibrant pinks in a moment. But this will be a really great, just a nice rough block. Let's just be careful around here. Oh yeah, maybe there's a little bit just on these sides here as well. Let's just color around that. So just leave a couple of circles where maybe the light's just bouncing off the character a little bit more. Then we've got that nice initial block, sort of all, sort of just coloured in around there. Right, okay, great. Now I've got that in. Oh, let's just do the, the face. And I think I will just block it in. I'm gonna leave a little bit down this side here. 
just a little bit of light coming off there and obviously I'll leave the eyes. There we go. Cool, so that's my initial kind of pink color there. Now I'm gonna get a more vibrant uh, pink. The hair's a lot more vibrant on the top, but what we can do, we can just start sort of plugging in a few more sort of vibrant colors. So it's got a nice colored base. Just sort of start plugging in a few more vibrant strips of pink. And we've already got the pink base, so it's already starting to pop. Then what I'm gonna do is just sort of build on what we've already created and just put some like some little strips. It's a really sort of mottled sort of skin. So I'm just gonna kind of just work up and down with my pen, really quite roughly. Just wiggle the pen up and down a bit and just block in around here. Just be cautious around those little areas that I've already sort of lightened, given to white and lightened up. I guess around here it might be a little bit more denser on the, on the right hand side where it's a bit darker. But I've got these nice, there we go, just build up on that. So we've got a nice block on the back around there. Cool. Right, let's be a bit more cautious around the face. The face is a little bit more sheeny shiny anyway. So just block in around there like that. Cool, already it's starting to come together and look pretty cool. So we've got those in. Now I'm gonna get myself a bit of a lilac-y color. Just build on this now. So what is this looking like? It might just be a little bit too dark. It just brings a little bit of a darker element. Just, just patching in a little bit of a darker look and feel. Maybe a bit more on the right-hand side and on this side too, just in there. I don't think it's giving us a lot of difference actually from the pinks. And then I'm just gonna get, get myself a nice sort of more of a purpley color. And I'm just gonna sort of start blocking in a bit more. Let's just get the finer tip and I'm just gonna sort of just block in at the front. It's a little bit darker here. So get a nice sort of purple. Just sort of follow these lines around there. And then again, what we can do, we can just start building just building it up, sort of, it's much more darker on this side. So just start building up Got these colors around here. Just come right down here. Then we can go back, we can go to the chisel tip then and just sort of build into our character. Just wiggle that chisel tip up and around, down. We'll try and work out like, you know, where the body is or be sympathetic to all of like, the coloring and things like that. It's all just work around it. Up and down there. Let's go in here and color these hands in. Just gonna block a little bit more on this right hand side. Just a bit more of an idea where it's sort of dark around here. Just sort of start blocking that in a bit more. Around here, sort of giving it a bit of a, that sort of textured mottled look. Now sort of start just building on that. Just lightly building on it all. So it's a bit lighter on that side. It's coming through now, it's looking good. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. It's starting to come together. And then that face is definitely more purpley as well. So I'm just gonna just build on this bit here. It's all much darker on this side. Yeah. Giving that a good build. There we go. And I think I've got slightly darker one again, and I'm just gonna just get into those sort of darker areas and sort of a bit more of a reddy sort of purple. Just gonna really build on that, those colors, sort of those darker areas. Sort of the 
back of the hair area, sort of the darker areas around here on the edges. And then oh, just put a little curve down there. And then what I'll do is just get the get the finer tip and then just sort of put in some fine little lines around here as well. So it's really sort of builds it up. It's heavier on the right hand side. And you see it all adds to sort of that nice sort of texture all around the character. I think I might just add a little bit. I feel like it's just a bit too much going on here. So it's gonna pop a bit more pink going on in the center here. Just around there. And what I might do actually is just grab myself a bit of a blue. So sort of maybe just give a hint of blue just around the edges. Like there's a bit of sort of blue light or something just chipping off this skin, which is kind of quite sort of a glistening sort of colour. So just a little hint blue around sort of some of the edges here. Or maybe just a hint. Around there, just a little bit of hint of one. Right, here we go. Um, maybe just, just block in just a few little gaps there. Where we can just sort of just block in a little bit more. There we go. I think that's it. That looks pretty cool. That is Agony on uh, Art Draw. Hope you like the picture. Please do let me know who else I can keep on drawing. And um, yeah, put it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. All right. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.